Hey guys! Hey Google, stop the music. Hey Google, turn off the floor fan. Okay, okay turning off the floor fan. Okay Google, turn on the exhaust fan. Sure, turning the exhaust fan on. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. All right, so today is February uh, 17th. Thank you, everybody, for coming to the All Hands. I will, I will go ahead and begin. So, looks looks good. Looks like we got people all over the world. We got Risky over in the frat house. Cynthia is over in the Georgia base. We got our crew over here. Uh, Alvin, greetings from Surabaya. Uh, who else do I see? I see Gani. I see Lilis! Lilis coming from Kitamani. I see Diva, our executive chair, which looks good. Nice chair. Diva, show us your chair. Show us your, your nice chair. The chair that is in the back. Oh, wow, that is a nice chair. All right, yes, Diva. It is. You've started a movement. We're going to get Herman Miller chair soon enough, right, for everybody to sit on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it would be great. Great. And that would be an aspiration, right? That's something. Okay. Anyhow, today is the All Hands. Let me go into February. So uh, we're halfway through the month. The theme of the month is to sharpen your saw. The revenue target is 277, and the stress target is 296. Uh, actually, just out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, hey, put up your hand if you agree. But would anybody? Okay, let's just let's just practice with the motion. I motioned out the same theme for March. Sharpen your saw. The same as for February. Does anybody want to second that? Okay, it's been seconded by Vita. Is there any discussion about that? Okay, no discussion. All right, all in favor of having the same theme for March, sharpen your saw again or sharpen er your saw? Part two, please vote now by raising your hand. Okay, one from Cynthia, one from Risky. Okay, uh, one from Tendi. <laughs> it's like a cascading effect, yeah? All right, okay, I just wanted to get some feedback. We haven't decided yet, but okay, thank you for sharing uh, where where you would like that to be. Let's continue. Um, all right, so part of the OKRs for myself this month and also to sharpen everybody saw is the rollout of the new smart methods. Uh, I'll take a look and see how we've progressed along on everybody's OKRs. I'm trying to get 100% uh, of people at Book of to use that. Okay. Remember, the theme this month is learning is the real work. Learning is the real work this month. So I know you guys have daily activities and operations and things that you can carry on with, but the theme of the month is to actually learn a new skill, and uh, this is how we get credit. Um, I'll ask the senior leads and the chapter leads to evaluate bonus performances based on how uh, much participation in the leadership we're showing in this. So remember, if you are learning a new skill, that is project involvement and leadership involvement. If you're leading a learning course, you're practicing project competency, hopefully, and also leadership competency. If you uh, are leading a really good class and you're very advanced and successful on it, I would consider that leadership excellence and project excellence. And if you don't learn anything, then that's just process involvement. Yeah. All right, uh, just out of curiosity really quickly, does anybody want to nominate or recognize a course that's been helpful? to their life um, recently. So I'm opening the floor for nominations. Does anybody have any nominations for which server class has been helpful? Yes, Vita. Uh, I'm actually um, recognizing the, the course that is held by me for marketing. Okay. Um, it was actually really fun in a way that we, we did it like, not just like by listening, but also um, doing it in a practical way. Okay. So also, actually, the persuasion and negotiation class by you is also nice because me myself is actually when I was uh, watching the videos, it's like, yeah, this is actually the thing that like stopping me like negotiating. <laughs> Which one? Which video was that? The one from Chris Trump. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. So Nomi, who is actually in Singapore right now, doing her best to avoid coronavirus. <laughs> 
um, is, uh, is not here, but there's a recognition to know these marketing class. It's my persuasion and negotiation course. Okay, thank you, Vita. Is there any more nominations for any other course right now? Going once. Going twice. Okay, all right, the time for nominations is finished. Thank you very much, Vita, for, um, for speaking up. Okay, so let's just take a look at some of the courses right now. We've got customer service. That's being championed by Tendi. He's got one of the highest attendance on that particular course. We've got project management. Hey, Rafik, welcome in. Oh, happy belated birthday to Rafik, who was on board of Valentine's Day. Yeah. And also, happy belated uh, fourth anniversary for Bayou, <laughs> for our anniversary. Uh, HR apologizes for not recognizing this earlier, so that means we'll have to have a bigger event, I guess, to celebrate. Okay, um, anyhow, let's continue. So project management being championed by Diva, entrepreneurship uh, championed by Jane on developing leadership habits. This is a very simple course if you guys want to participate. All it involves is downloading a podcast and coming to a discussion about what you've heard on the podcast. Marketing 4.0 by Nun Lee. She's already offered, uh, giving her first class. Persuasion Negotiation. Uh, I will have my second class today. Uh, and that's uh, being project championed by me. Community Management, project championed by Joel. Recruiting, uh, done first class today by Ara. Software and Machine Learning, first class, uh, first first one today, right? Uh, no, yeah. Okay. The, the, the material is there. I'm, sorry, not, I'm trying to balance because uh, there are some advanced participant and beginner participant. Okay. That's, both are really eager, so. So you guys should talk. We had actually a similar situation like that for recruiting. So the uh, best way is just to set the expectations. You decide the course, and then whoever is ready for it can and go along. Okay, software machine learning is really exciting stuff, and that is being part of the champion by Bayou. Delegation by Alvin. Um, taxation by Risky, he's already started too. Risky, over there in the frat house. And uh, partner relationship by Rafik. Okay, great. So let's go into the employee satisfaction survey feedback. Um, please fill out your employee satisfaction for February. I don't see uh, everybody participating in that yet. Hopefully we can get that feedback so we can see what we're doing better and what needs to improve. Now, things, bless you, Chandra. Every time I hear a sneeze, I think of COVID-19, okay? <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, I'm sure none of us have it. So, uh, what's getting better is the hiring process and there's more transparency. Uh, what needs improvement is team collaboration in terms of events. For example, coming to the event on time or improving the communication if you are coming late by notifying the person in charge of the event or filling up what is being asked. Yes, I do see that. And as we are actually getting more people to be involved in leading teams and leading events, I think we need everybody's uh, mutual respect and cooperation so that the events go more smoothly. On the second point is better alignment, communication, and maintaining our vision as a company rather than individuals. Uh, good, good point. Uh, I guess this is why we have all hands and why we recognize core values, just to really drive in these points. Um, if for something like this, uh, next time the person who gave that feedback, please tell us where essentially we're lacking and where you would like to see improvements. Um, it's a very broad form of feedback, and it's just kind of hard to change behavior to, to address that specific uh, feedback. So the feedback on the feedback, please be more specific. Leading by example and input critics and suggestion. Great, okay, that's a good uh, message to leaders here at Booker Vista, which is everyone. Uh, need self-awareness from all members. The most important is to help others first. Control your emotion and noise while working. That also helps others first to stay in focus. Respect other members also includes helping Ooh. others first. If you believe you're not making noise, um, it will help us finish our work on time. Yes, uh, sometimes the noise level can get a little bit absurd in the uh, overall hall. I thought Bayou actually had a practice that was actually kind of interesting about creating the frat house as a quiet zone. I don't know if we have a quiet zone anymore. I think every area is equally likely to be noisy now. Um, but if we can bring back some quiet space to, let's say, the overall workspace, that would give people who want to do deep work and focus an opportunity to do so. Okay, um, let's continue on forward. So on old business, uh, right, Bayou, has that matter of old business been taken care of? Let's see. Probably 
Almost, right? Air support too. And, oh, revenue management, right. We don't have a group in revenue management, right? but we should. Huh? Okay, good point. And then HAR, which is pretty much the announcement group. Yeah. No, we no, have no, no. If you, you have your own. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's just get this done right after the all hands. If you do have a chat link, please put it here. And this will be an effective directory where people can come in and communicate. Uh, by just to reiterate, I think the idea was anybody can come in, leave a message, and then exit out the group so that they can communicate to a specific chapter or a specific uh, squad. Okay, next one. We've got some new features on Bigger 1.21. Oh, wow, we have a new release of Bigger already, 1.22. Um, okay, let's cover some of the old business first. Okay, this is just, this is just a reminder we work, working expenses are not covered by the company. I think we've talked about that three times already. So I will remove that. And concern about time management as echoed in the employee satisfaction. Please uh, do not miss all hands if you can avoid it because it is the one time where we can address that other employee satisfaction survey about company alignment and moving in the same direction as a company. So please schedule your meetings around all hands and uh, be on time for your sync ups because that's how your squad will know what is going on. So that has been addressed twice. So we'll remove that from the all hands. Next one is the bigger demo and briefing session. I think we've already talked about that. That is essentially done three weeks uh, ago, so we'll take that away. Test for managing extra services on bigger is ongoing. I think we've talked about that a few times too, so I will eliminate that from old business. And the project bounty, this one is still up for grabs. We, uh, Diva submitted her uh, assessment for testing content candidates, which HR is implementing. Oh, and the other ones are also necessary for different chapters. Uh, I think we have one for revenue managers, and we probably should get one also if you want to implement something for our hospitality candidates to see if they have correct hospitality credentials and reduce the risk. Okay, leadership bonus is still open for somebody who wants to take charge of community management. That is a five uh, million bonus. It's a single time bonus for starting up the community management guild, and also the uh, bounty for making an online marketing campaign is open to as well. I believe digital marketing is working on that. So if you're involved or like to be involved, please participate with the digital marketing crew. All right, next. So, our, ooh, right. Okay, here's Gunny. Gunny, please tell us your new order of business, Gunny. Uh, yes. yes, sir. So, from 80, uh, thanks to 90% instant book rate for all squads, sir. Okay, all right. So uh, that is the proposal. I guess that is a SLA improvement. Thank you very much, Gunny. And this is a question. Do we need to vote this into place or not? Okay, let's let's vote this into place because it's an amendment on the SLAs. And Bayou, I think, is the master of SLA, so he can... He can uh, change the SLA after we put it into vote. So uh, I will state Gunny's motion on the table, and we will proceed with that. So there is a motion now to increase the SLA for instant, instant book from 80% to 90%. So uh, yes, uh, back to Gunny. No, 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 sir, no, sir. Okay, all right, fantastic. Is there a second on the motion? Okay, it has been seconded by Diva and, okay, it's been seconded by Diva. Is there any discussion about this motion? Content, content. So content is gonna move up their SLA from 80% instant book to 90% instant book, which is pretty badass if you ask me. That's, that's yeah. okay, that's my discussion part. Um, okay. Uh, yes, I think this is actually a good idea. Uh, we have been able to achieve uh, consistently above 80%. I think this is actually a part of process excellence of asking more for ourselves. Um, and uh, that's always good. When we see an improvement in SLAs, that means that we are improving the process. So good idea. All right, and the time for discussion. Is there any more discussion? Okay. If there's no more discussion, then the time for discussion is over. Let's proceed to the vote. All in favor of proceeding with a 90% uh, instant book rate for the company content SLA, please vote in favor now by raising your hand. 
Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All right. And then all against, please raise your hand. Okay. That's one person against. Okay. Majority rules. Okay. So that is passed. All right. Motion passes. Congratulations, Gunny. It will be 90% instant book SLA now from now on. Okay. Thank you very much, Gunny, for leading that. Okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, what is the designation? The Constitution Writer now? Yeah? Or SLA. SLA uh, inputter. We should have a name for this. Motion on the, on the floor for a name for the person who writes onto the SLAs. Does any anybody have a proposal for a name? Company Scribe. Okay. Amendment Master. SLA Scribe. Okay, Bayou, would you please put the new SLA onto the company SLAs? And uh, we can proceed. Okay. Next one. There is uh, the next call is uh, Bayer. Are you still in the writing phase? Oh, yeah. Actually, a quick question. Yes, so, sir. So the old uh, SLA is above eighty percent instant book rate on this squad. So is this SLA would be yeah, in the company level or in all squad? squads? All squads, company level. So increase as a way on all. On all squad or each squad? Oh, right. Good question, right? So is it all squad or each squad? Ah, uh, yes. So let's go to Gunny. Let's get, get clarification on this one. Uh, Gunny, over to you. Do you mean the total or on each particular squad? Yeah. So all squad, sir. Okay. All squad is different from each squad, though. Each squad means that, let's say, for example, each squad would be above 90. All squad means that maybe some are above 90, some are below. But the total is above 90. Oh, it's also oh, it's what? Okay, each squad is above 90. All right. So should we should we clarify that then? The okay. Let, let, let's bring this back to a vote. Um, so the motion is with clarification. Each squad. So squad four above 90. Squad three above 90. Two above 90. Squad one above 90. So even if let's say. The overall performance is above 90. Each squad itself would have to be above 92. Is that correct? Okay. All right. Let's do this again. All in favor. Uh, I need a second. Is there any second to that motion? Okay. It's been seconded by Rafik. All right. Let's move to a discussion. Any further discussion? Okay. No discussion. The time for discussion is over. All right. So to each squad, um, all in favor of revising. The content chapter proposed an increase on the SLA to each squad from 80% to 90%. Please vote in favor now by raising your hand. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. All against, please raise your hand. Okay. All right. Dominic is against. Okay. All right. The, uh, the motion carries. All right, um, but you go ahead and let's let's go ahead and put that that in, and we have a new SLA for each squad. Okay, thank you very much for the vote, and thank you very much, Gunny. Your motion is passed. Next to uh, Bayou for assembling a special committee to develop sustainable partner reporting. I think that was the discussion this morning, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, any updates on that? Uh, yes, uh, that's on, on the paper actually. Okay, and. Where should we put this? Uh, we discussed it already, right? Before we all had. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. This is uh, thank you everyone that uh, joining the special force task force. Basically, this is uh, uh, related to the concern about uh, the the failure that we we have uh, in in the past, like, I think, six months. Uh, we have this project. Long time ago, where we want to automate the report for partners, uh, but uh, with the help of the uh, OBM uh, intern, uh, I think we can we can do a better observation on the on how the transaction works uh, in, in our system, and then uh, automate uh, that uh, process. So basically, uh, we can we can go to the top uh, of the document. So there's a, a problem to solve. Basically, the problem we are trying to solve is inconsistency in reporting revenue and payout that done manually and uh, labor intensive. Uh, uh, we want to make that more efficient uh, and uh, less 
uh, human de uh, dependence, basically. And then the second one is uh, to address the failure in automating payment report for partners in, in this uh, in the few uh, last few months. So the key result that we want to see is that by the end of the month, we confirm that payment report on bigger is accurate uh, compared to Airbnb, Tableau, and also manual report. So all report is uh, showing the same numbers. And then uh, the second key result is a consensus on how the revenue and transaction is calculated. So there's no, there, there will be no more like uh, uh, according to this percent, according to that percent, according to this report. Uh, so everything would uh, show the same number. And then uh, the third key result is uh, adoption rate by partner is above zero. So currently we have uh, zero partner uh, seeing the report. So uh, our goal is basically this at least uh, one partner using the automated uh, report. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much, Blair, for clarifying that. And uh, yes, this is a um, this is a good product. I think this would be this would I would consider a project excellence if we can get this to work. It allows scalability for the company to achieve more partnerships in the future while keeping a uh, linear time that we need to actually have people uh, think about the, uh, the finance reporting. All right. Let's talk about the next order of new business. So this is Wayana uh, with the community meeting MVP in Changu. Okay, over to Wayana for an update on that. So my MVP is done actually. Uh, thank you for the team that attend for the event. It was also other uh, member of the squad like Rian and um, Andy and Nopi as well attending. And uh, this one, uh, we we believe we have the the feedback of the owner and the score of it, and uh, the back end of it is traffic habit. Okay, all right, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, this one, this one, I would say. Okay, well, just to give it a let, let me let me put it up to the floor. What type of project is this? Is it PJC, PJE? Where would you? Where would you put this? Does anybody have any feedback for this? I'm not sure if like the other website. Ah, right, yes. Right. Correct. Uh, I would give, okay, so Rita said this is PJC, and it depends on the output. Yes, if this event continues, and it becomes, let's say, a scalable way for us to manage the community, and it becomes a scalable way for Ruby Vista to acquire new partnerships. That would be project excellence. That would mean we would have a fixed amount of time that we spent with the community and we would have scalable results. We have scalable um, new growth on new partners and also scalable messaging to the community so that we have uh, a single way instead of addressing each person one at a time. So this is an MVP, so it's at the beginning. Being able to deliver an MVP is a sign of competency. Um, but also iterating and getting it to become better and more advanced is a sign of project excellence. So, okay, next one to monthly revenue stream. Okay, I think this is the new bigger. Uh, buddy, let's talk about this. Uh, please. Okay, so uh, this one is uh, the the new robot. If you are using bigger, you, you will see the version uh, one point two two. So uh, this is uh, following up the discussion about uh, new partner onboarding. So the old flow is that we will send email to partner when revenue and projection, uh, revenue projection and contract is ready. Uh, but the the, uh, the new mechanism is that we send the email after revenue projection is ready, so that partner will see the revenue projection first, uh, and then uh, market building will create the uh, contract based on that revenue uh, projection. So. Uh, email will be sent after revenue projection is ready. Uh, and then uh, the next one is option for part partner to see example contract when market building hasn't updated uh, the document ID. So we put a, uh, like a, a dummy contract, uh, the latest one, the latest version of the contract that partner can, can see if the market build uh, there haven't updated the document ID on and then the third one is monthly revenue graph now uh, can show revenue for booking longer than a month. Uh, this one is actually brought up by Lilis. Uh, so there's a booking in Villa Bodas for two months uh, from January to March. 
but uh, the revenue in February will show zero because there's no check-in and check-out date in February. So uh, that, that's why it's not showing up on, on the revenue graph. Uh, now it, it, uh, it's ca uh, been calculated. So that booking uh, total occupied night is 46 night. And then uh, the check-in date is in January, check-out date in March. During February, there are uh, 29 nights that are actually uh, occupied. So, so on the graph, uh, we uh, we show that the revenue for uh, the occupancy for uh, February is actually 100%, and revenue number also represented right now. All right. Just yeah, ooh, cool. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Fantastic. Thank you very much yeah. for the new updates on bigger and also the sustainable partner uh, reporting committee by you uh, for getting a sled on the project. I'll move those over to old business now. Okay, uh, let's see. Let me move that over. And, oops, let's create a new span. And in that new row, we will drop that. Okay, let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the wrap. If you're a squat lead, just please update your wrap every beginning of the week so we know who's on your team and what's going on. We have a very dynamic workplace. HR is hiring new people, so it's good to know where everyone sits. All right, on squad one, squad one, uh, market building set is the same. They work across all different squads. We've got Alvin as acting squad lead, Nadine as air support two, Dominic, Brianna, and Luki are hosts. Diva's con content, Risky's on finance, Brianna, re graphic on community, uh, Jing and Alvin are on uh, revenue management, Diva's on HR and UR, Bayou is on internal tools, and Diva's on online marketing. Squad 2A covers Panamana, Luwatu, and Ubud. Uh, same group for MB, Chandra Debris is air support. We got Tenny and Rafik as senior hosts. Diwan is hosting. Rizal is on content. Risky and Alvin Chandra are on finance. Tenny and Rafik are on community. Luwatu is revenue management is covered by Diwan and Chandra. Uh, Panamana by Diwan, Ubud, and Sonora by Tendi. Ara is on HR and UR. Bayou and Divar are on HR tools and online marketing. Squad 2B. Squad 2B covers Chang Gupta right now in Seminac. We got same team for market building. We got Rafik is opening up for uh, air support. He's looking for a successor. Uh, Tendi and Rafik are senior hosts. Oh, we have somebody there. Yes. Okay, to Rafik. Can you put uh, Samuel on Squad 2B? Okay, all right. There is Sonora. Um, yeah, oh, put it. Sonora is also part of Squad 2B's beat. Yeah. We got Rafik. He's looking for a successor on his air support. Tenny and Rafik are seniors. Joel is a host. Rizal is on content finance. It's Risky and Alvachandra. Rafik and Tendi are on community. Uh, Chungu and Semiak is covered by Tendi and Chandra for revenue management. Ara and Bayou are. Ara is a university of new uh, university nations. Internal tools is Bayou and Diva and also Rizal uh, for online marketing. Okay, last one, squad four. Squad four covers Houston, Panita, and Jogja. Same group for market building. Shindia is on Panita, is on air support. Whoa, we got three air support. Wow. Okay, Shindia and Novi and Andre are also air support. They cover Panita and Jokja. There's an opening for squad lead. Andre is uh, Andre is host for squad uh, four. Gunny is on content. Gunny, I believe you're acting squad lead now, yes? Let me just double check that with you. Yes. Okay, all right. So Gunny is now acting squad lead. It means that um, he will essentially be on the pathway to squad lead now for squad four uh, with development and coaching from the company. Right, next to Risky. Risky is on finance and the community. Lilith is on squad four now for the revenue management control. Uh, I believe she's replacing Wyana and Shintia on this beat. She's replaced Gunny and Rizal's beat. And hopefully we'll cover Ryana and Shetty as we soon. Uh, R is on the HR UR, uh, by is on HR tools, and online marketing group is by Gunny. Nick, profile coverage. Ah, so good to have, I think, all the seniors here. Let's go to Alvin first. Alvin, any changes on the profiles that are here? Oh. <laughs> Alvin's frozen. Hi, right, Alvin. Okay. Uh, just to repeat that, Alvin, uh, currently your image is frozen, so I'll just repeat what I see here. I've got Luki and Rian covering Gene and Wyana. i got Nadine and Rian covering on Wyana. Um, nothing changed. Okay, thank you very much, Alvin. Uh, Rafik, any changes on the profile coverage for your... All good? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, 
For Chris and Lyanna, we don't have an advisor for that profile. Which squad is most Chris and Lyanna? Squad one. Squad one, yeah? Squad one? Good? Really? Yeah. Okay, all right. So let me do this then. Let's bump up Alvin over to the, whoops, what the devil did I just do? Okay. We'll be one of these two here. I'll be advisor after Luke come in. Okay, thank you very much, Alvin. All right, fantastic. Uh, thank you. That, that's that's good. That that sees the progression. Okay, Tendi. Tendi's there. Tendi. Oh, there's Tendi. Tendi, any changes on your side? Okay. No, sir. Okay, great, John. Any changes on your side for profile coverage? Good. And Wyatt, any changes on your side? All good. Okay. And let's go to Dominic. Hey, Dominic. All good. Okay. All right. Dominic's coming from the room. All good. And that covers that. All right, let's go into the BB tax and see how we're doing. Okay, so uh, overall booking pace is stabilizing. We're a little bit below the target. It should be trying to get above 88, I believe. Oh, sorry, waiting for the stats to load. Okay, currently this week we're doing a little bit less than last week. Last week we were getting uh, up in the 90s and upper 80s this week. So far, we're in the lower the upper 70s and yesterday we were up at 80 so far today only 11 so definitely uh chilling out a little bit performance on overall company revenue is solid we're at 238 targets 277 and the weekly sales is behaving actually really strange we have equal e weekly sales almost all around 44,000 48 43 44 actually even increasing which is a little bit unusual to say the least, so not sure why that's happening. But, okay, in terms of different squad coverage, squad two is on top now, 119, squad one, slightly below at 95, squad four at 17, squad three at 6,000. On growth, on growth so far this year, uh, based on the current revenue, we've already seen a 28% growth from last year in 2019, so that is good, that's a, that's a jump up. Let's take a look at each profile. On this profile, we're looking at Adventure. Adventure is down, uh, oh, I have to tap. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I have to, okay, I can't click through anymore. Okay, Adventure was down, wait, now i <laughs> using, I'm looking kind of weird there. Oh, what's going on? Okay, Adventure is down 22% at uh, 5.9 thousand. Agoda, is up 66% at 4,000. Um, oops, Bastion and Wyatta is down 16% at 31,000. Uh, our Book of Vista is down 39% at 2.2,000. Uh, Body and Wyatta is down 20% at 26,000. Booking.com is down 37% at 20,000. Uh, Charter and Book of Vista is not on the map. And D1 and Jane, D1 and Jane is down 14% at four and a half thousand. Uh, Emil and Booker Vista is down 25% at 12.9 thousand. Emil and Wyatta is down only 1.9% at 1,400. Gabby and Ara is down 40% at 1.5. Uh, Jing and Booker Vista is down 26% at 37,000. Jing and Wyatta is down 40% at 38,000. Ooh, okay, that's a good one down. Um, Chris and Wyatt is down 35% at 8.5 thousand. Sorry, uh, it's the same one. And Nuki and Ara is down 51% at 1.9 thousand. Shindy and Wyatt is down 47% at 500. Tendi and Buca Vista is down 20% at 2.9 thousand. Uh, Trouble Loco, we don't do anymore. And Wyana is down 40% at 37,000. Okay, the big hitters there are the Jing and Wyana and the Wyana. They need the most amount of lift in order for us. I think they're going to revenue targets. All right, taking a look at different areas. Bottom line is down 32% at 8.2 thousand. Bingin is down 41% uh, at 30,000. Changu is down 29% at 49,000. Jimbaran is down 43% at 15,000. Nusadu is down 51% at 15,000. Uh, Nusi Panita is down 28% at 17,000. Parampadao down 18% at 13,000. Sonora down 10% at 2.3,000.
Semenyak down 21% at 10,000. Ubud down 26% at 9.6 thousand. Uluwatu down 27% at 33,000. Umasad up 9% at 26,000. Joe Jakarta down 46% at 6,000. Okay, that is the lineup for that. Okay, on, let's see, occupancy rate. So last month we were at 16% of the room nights available were sold. This month we are at 13%. Uh, the majority of bookings are now being converted. That is good for uh, February. And the newest uh, newest products that are still not getting bookings is Labak, 21 days without a booking. Lola One, 21 days without a booking. The Lavosa, 25 days without a booking. Puri Sabina, 21 days without a booking. And Ocean Terrace, 26 days without a booking. And those are the newest figures for unbooked. Um, Unbooked listings, unbooked properties. Okay, next on the revenue projection. Revenue projection given by Tableau says that we should be able to hit uh, above our projection. We should be able to hit 319,000. Hope we can get there. In terms of heavy check in dates for the rest of the month, uh, let's see, I guess, uh, hard, to, hard to really figure out. I guess the lighter the color, the hotter the dates. It looks like February 29th. Uh, we, it will be pretty busy. And when is Nippy? Nippy is March 24th, right? 25th? 25th, okay. So uh, you said two day minimum for Nippy. So that people will check in at Nippy and get stuck. Okay, for new listings, new listings, let's take a look what we have. We've got Kinchana and Asri Village. I believe both of these actually have been presented. Yes? No? Yes. 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 Okay, so just new listings from existing properties. Oh, nice. Even shot. That's jazzy. Like that. Okay, so uh, that's Kinshana. We will skip that. On uh, market building, let's see what the stats show. Market building, we're up to 177 properties under management. Uh, the most productive have been coming in from the last three months Villa Amazon at 11,000 of new revenue. Uh, Austin Guest House that was working at 429. We got another one from Didi's Place at 9,000. Um, this is Putri Nusa and also Losari. Coming in with about uh, about five thousand of combined revenue. This one's doing really well. Villa Wiska, brought in by Nunley, uh, about twelve thousand new revenue, and Ashley Guest House at two thousand of new revenue. And this one is Kinchana Homestay at four point eight thousand of new revenue. Thank you to Market Builders for bringing in new properties and new revenue. Yes. All right. Let's keep on looking. This is on content. Content is now at a ninety percent SLA. So in February, they were at 91.84, back in January at 92. And this is the conversion rates, and these are the unbooked properties. So it looks like we still got quite a few, but so uh, we're looking to reduce that too. All right, next one is on, right, on HAR. So let's take a look at, ooh, this is good. Inquiry conversion rate at squad one. First week, achieved. Second week, not achieved. Third week, not achieved. Fourth week, achieved. Congratulations, squad one. Okay, two out of four. Very good. Getting those in quick conversions up is really good for our company performance. Uh, squad two, 70%, 18%. Uh, okay, so not achieved on squad two, not achieved on the second week, not achieved on the third week, and not achieved on the fourth week. Okay, squad two. Um, also, there's quite a lot of volume. Uh, let's let's get that rate up. Okay, th oh, thank you for fixing that. It's much easier to read the, the conversion rates now for squad three. Uh, squad three, first week not achieved, second week not achieved, third week not achieved, fourth week not achieved. Okay, far below. Squad four, uh, first week not achieved, second week overachieved by like 50%, very good. Third week slightly below, fourth week achieved. Okay, congratulations to squad four for getting the inquiry conversions up above the SLA of 25%. Let's take a look at request conversion rate. Squad one, first week achieved, squad uh, second week achieved, third week not achieved. Fourth week, super achievement, very good. Congratulations, squad one, on request conversion rate. Uh, success, above 50%. Squad two, achieved, 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 achieved. Wow, okay, all right, very good, squad two. All four weeks achieved on request conversion rate. Um, this is excellent. And squad three, fully achieved on the first week, not achieved on the second and third weeks. Squad four, achieved, 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 achieved. Oh, 100% achievement on request conversion rate. All right. Congratulations, I think it looks really good. This is far improved before uh, from back in, I forgot, a few months ago. 
when most everything is below, I think we have the request almost under control now. So this, this looks very positive. Thank you, teams, for making that happen. Thank you, HRR, for making that happen. So, congratulations. Uh, that looked like a hard goal, but we finally got through it. All right, let's take a look at hospitality. Hospitality on squad one. Um, first week of January, not achieved. Second week, uh, barely there, 93%. Third week, not achieved. Okay, on squad two, not achieved. Uh, achieved on the second week and not achieved on the third week. On squad uh, three, achieved, achieved, and not achieved. Uh, squad four, uh, not, not achieved, not achieved, and achieved. Okay, so about 30% of the time, we hit our hospitality targets. Let's take a look at the review rate. Review rate, um, we're looking to get about 33%. So on squad one, not, not, and not, and not. Okay, well, four weeks, no achievement. On squad two, not, 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 oh, almost there on the last week, almost at 33. Um, on squad three, not, 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 okay, no weeks have achievement squad four, not, 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 not. Okay, so uh, let's try to get those review rate numbers up. They are all below SLA uh, achievement levels. On the community, community, the good news is that it seems like the pile of complaints is shrinking. So there's a downward trend right now. Thank you very much for resolving. I think in squad one, we need some more resolution uh, at Didi's place from Luki, also Villa Tortoise from Luki, and also Villa Tortoise again from Luki. All right, so these are community management issues that need to be addressed. Squad two, uh, Tendi on Villa Olel, uh, D1, uh, D1, D1. Uh, thank you, Joel, for taking care of these. That's really good. Joel is one of the news guys here, and he's resolving the community management issues. And thank you also to uh, Novi for resolving the issues at uh, Putri Nusa. Okay, let's take a look at before um, Rion on uh, Villa Edamon, this needs to be resolved. Also D1 on F3 Village, this needs to be resolved. Uh, Bobby's Place, I think, is also probably D1's beat. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that. Okay, on the newest uh, issues, we need uh, Luki also to resolve the issues at Edamon, and also D1 to resolve the issues, and D1 attendee to resolve the issues on Squad 2. Okay, thank you for community management. Let's take a look at the, okay, employee experience, we've also mentioned already on the beginning of the all hands, so we'll go ahead and skip that. Back to the all hands. On projects and uh, guilds, digital marketing, once again, Thursdays at four, content, uh, Tuesdays at five, copywriting is paused, photography is paused, human resources is open for anybody who wants to learn about recruiting and how we select and how we enhance the employee experience. That is Saturday at one, leadership Fridays at three, community management Tuesdays at three, finance Wednesdays at two, market building Thursdays at five, Revenue management today, tomorrow, and Wednesday at 4. HAR Thursdays at 12. Projects Fridays at 11. Hospitality conference is now the date to be arranged, most likely in November again. Wednesdays at 5. And subscribe to this calendar if you want to be uh, notified about hospitality meetups. Okay, all right. My OKRs, which I will stay up here. Um, so let's take a look and see how uh, much compliance that we're getting. So let's see. So far, um, on the smart checklist, I'm hoping to get this rolled out to everybody. I've got all of squad two to participate. Uh, I need to check on squad four, squad one. I think I got most of squad one, except I think Nunley and Diva. Um, squad four, I'm waiting for the update on Ghani. Sorry, Ghani, I wrote to you really late this morning. And also, I need to check up on the intern squad participation. I'll ask by you to, to check on that and see if the interns are using the smart OKRs. Okay, um, next one. So. Next one is to develop more leadership capability and awareness, update the processes. So we're looking at, um, actually I pivoted on this one, it's not leadership anymore. We're looking to get better mentorship. We consider uh, senior leaders who are producing leadership learning classes as part of mentorship. So we're hoping to see 10% uh, rise in that. But oh yeah, here is it, here it is, yeah, this is the pivot. So, uh, sorry, actually I didn't, I shouldn't do that because then I won't be able to see my pivot. So there it is. Okay, this is a, uh, this is what a pivot should look like in your OKRs if you notice that something isn't quite right with your OKRs in the middle of the month. So my original OKR, my key result was to create a 10% leadership performance on uh, these particular elements. But then I decided to pivot because I noticed that some people had 4.4 in their leadership. It's unlikely that they'll get 4.7, that's pretty high. So my pivot is actually this now. So what I want to get is I want to get everybody who's below a four, so at least a four on uh, mentorship, 
And then people who are above 4.2 up to a 4.4, and it's in the same uh, span. And let me go ahead and put that on mentorship. So why I'm doing this, I'm illustrating actually how Lean Agile works. If you do notice somewhere along the line that your OKRs are not achievable, then go ahead and pivot, make it more achievable. But write what you're pivoting to so that see where, where it's going. Okay, um, that is that. Let's go back up to the all hands and see where we are on uh, overall company performance. It brings us over to the last part, which is the core value recognition. So um, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, I think we're on Risky. Risky has been nominated by Vita for Never Settle and Helping Others First. Okay, why? For taxation, learning, risky, and my tax expert to share on class, I think it was a really nice gesture on being never settled by all staying hungry for new knowledge and also inviting others to the learning. This is good. Back. I'm all right, congratulations, risky. For I think this is a good idea. I think the idea of bringing on a guest speaker is something that we can do more. Remember, sometimes uh, there are no experts in the room yet, but we can actually reach out and invite people who are experts here. That's just a good start. And that is definitely an innovation positive on Never Settle and helping the rest of the team benefit from that. Okay, uh, that's about it. And let's go ahead and do the wrap up. Uh, wow, I just finished 10 minutes. Okay, good. So let's go around and see if there's any announcements. Sorry, from Risky. Any announcements on your side, Risky? No? Okay, all right. Any announcements in the joke Joe side? Uh, Vinny or, okay, all right, that's all thumbs up. The guy in the orange shirt, uh, that's Andre. Andre, any announcements on your side? Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. Easier in the frame. Oh, wait, that's a new practice. If you have, an, if you, if you have no announcements, just give a thumbs up, right? And that will make it faster. Uh, why on and Riesel, any announcements on your side? Okay, easy. Yes. All <laughs> right, D1. <laughs> D1, Samasta Live. Okay, good. Alvin. <laughs> I don't know why Alvin. Oh, Alvin disappeared. Okay. Lewis. Okay, Deepa. All right, let's see. Uh, who else has not been clicked? Tendi and Tris. Okay, great. Novi. Okay, the, the gallery here. All right. <laughs> yes, okay. Bye, you stand up and tell us your announcement, please. All right. It's, um, uh, I will be working remotely in uh, tomorrow uh, for a few days, I think three days or four days. So if you need something that is made my physical presence, please just reach me. How about celebrations? If you're going to do that remotely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so okay, yeah. okay I, I will do still be here uh, today and tomorrow, so uh, just reach me if you need anything. All right, fantastic. Okay. All right, thank you, buddy, for making that announcement. Um, oh yeah, I remember. I'm going to go to Jokja actually. So just an announcement: we uh, I brought the HR team with Ara and Vita last week, or yeah, it was last week, last Saturday, to SDPBE where we caught up with Evan and Wendy, which is really good, and we got about 80 emails, which we will petition to start getting interns hopefully for June to December. Um, so we're starting a relationship. Uh, with STPBE again for interns in 2020. Um, this week I'm going to Ugea. Uh, all right, maybe you can tell me what I'm going to do at Ugea. Okay, so basically uh, we're going to have like three talks in Ugea on the 20th. So we have the career talks on the 20th with principal Ugea. So it's basically about um, new partnerships between Bukit Vista and principal Ugea. So Jing is going to talk about our companies, introducing us, and then like it's basically to attract more students to have like internships and also for uh, more people to actually apply to the company from that particular faculty. Fantastic. All right. Very good. Thank you, Aura, for that. Um, all right. And then I think we have a celebration today for both these characters, for Rafik and Bayou. Uh, Rafik, we forgot to celebrate Valentine's because Rafik was not here. Right? Yeah. How old are you, Rafik? Me? Yeah. Yes. You're 40, right? <laughs> Mark, fantastic 40. 37. 14. He's 14. 48. 48. 48. 48. 
84. Okay, yes. we're not we're not sure how old Rafik is. It's kind of a mystery here. Yeah. And uh, also for uh, speaking of fours, it's also Lighter's fourth anniversary at Book of Vista too as well. So uh, I think are we, we're getting something today, right? Or we're getting something today, right? Well, they're both here. Yeah. Right. Here. It's no. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna feed you lunch. That's <laughs> I think that own lunch. That's actually true. Rafa came with his own birthday uh, present, so he brought a birthday present for everybody. If you're at base, Rafa brought some satay. Satay, yeah. Which is actually award-winning, legendary. Yeah, I just want to wake up at four to make this one. Just all around me. Okay, four a.m. Labor of love satay for everyone. And I believe Lilis is also actually in Kintamani right now, uh, celebrating Galangla too as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good question. Who has Galangla off? Actually, me afternoon too. Okay. All right. Andy, I think. Okay. Uh, what result? Okay. Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay, Wyatt is off, and Rizal is off, and Tendi is off, and Tris is off, and D1's playing his mustache. No, D1's going to be solid. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, all right. Cool. Uh, all right, cool. Um, any, do we need to announce that, or is HR already taking care of? It's good. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay, that pretty much concludes the all hands. We're five minutes ahead of time. Does anybody want to say anything? I yield my time to whoever wants to speak. No? Okay, all right. That's it then, everyone. Have a great week ahead. Happy Bukit Vista. And uh, what were we saying? Slava Bukit Vista. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everyone.